I would now like to introduce Jonathan Browning, our president and CEO of the Volkswagen Group of America, to tell us more about Volkswagen's performance and plans for the US market. John. And good morning, everybody. It's uh, wonderful to see all these sunglasses looking at me this morning. I'd like to talk for a moment about our progress and our plans here in the US. Despite the fragile economic recovery, the Volkswagen brand has more than doubled sales over the past three years. We're closing out our third consecutive year of really significant double-digit sales increases, 20% in 2010, 26% in 2011, and then over 35% so far this year. Now, this trend continued in October as we reported our best October since 1972. And in just 10 months of sales this year, we've actually outsold the best total calendar year since 1973. We're very well placed in terms of the passenger car business. We've still got lots of ideas, lots of opportunities, so we look forward to even uh, stronger growth going forward. We are not complacent. We are not yet satisfied with our results. We will continue to offer US customers what we believe is the best product lineup ever. Introducing the Beetle Convertible Special Editions, commemorating the 1950s, the 60s, and the 1970s. The Beetle really does represent the heart and soul of the VW brand, and, and when you see the convertible, especially in LA, that really gets the, the, the heart pumping. It's, it's terrific to see. Ladies and gentlemen, the Volkswagen Group has now 99 plants in 27 countries and our worldwide market share rose to 12.9%. That means every eight car sold globally is a Volkswagen. We also view this tremendous success as a great responsibility. And as part of our commitment to long-term sustainability, we developed what we call our Think Blue philosophy. I'm very pleased to announce the winner of our 2012 Think Blue World Championship, and it is Frank Zauft, together with his daughter Ramona, coming from Germany. Give him a big hand. We wanted to create a product that is outstanding and unique, uh, and that is given by its origin design coming from the 40s. Uh, but we wanted to redefine it, to make it a lot more uh, masculine, muscular, strong in its identity. Uh, so we had to reshape the whole car, make it all new from, from the ground up. And uh, that was big fun, but also a challenge. 